If you are going to be a sponsor who drafts six signed Revolve models at Coachella, you do not bring them back to the house, put them on a couch with no music, no drinks, and nothing to do, <laughs> Steven. Okay, on the biggest night of the weekend. He used to be out on the corner, he was dealing in drugs. He got himself a barber's chair and gave off some cuts. Now he's a podcaster, his life he'll talk about it with us. And now it's It's a nice song. It's a great song. Why do you why do you guys always like try to do something different? That one's great. That right. one's always good. I don't it's know. Always we good. always want more. We always want change. You know, we want nothing to, we makes want to me happy than that song. That one's the best. I, I just don't it. want to keep on promoting this drug dealing, you know, persona. That's who you are. I guess I'm like a rapper in the YouTube world. You know, I'm like a that's I'm like Pusha T of YouTube. Uh, I was really in that travel lodge. You're trying to do like an NBA young boy thing. Because NBA young boy, he went from a drug rapper addict guy and now he's mormon i mean all cool rappers kind of uh come from a drug dealing background but a lot of them didn't actually weren't really about that life you know little baby was it's actually crazy because we went from the dealers making rap like making rap songs and now it's the the users that make the rap songs like there was such oh, a whole yeah. flip of like the rap dynamic and the culture it used to be like jay-z biggie like Pac, everybody talking about being on the corner making money selling drugs even 10 crack commandments you know all that high, yeah your, your own, own supply. supply you know and now it's just a bunch of lean sipping perked Faith out fucking yeah. it was the first like popular white guy to be the first user like eminem was like i'm a drug addict yeah i guess that's the best true, ever yeah. we were talking about eminem yesterday we were saying how he never said the n-word and that was dope we like that about him well, you know? But there yeah. was actually a video that surfaced recently, and as I was saying it, he Googled it, and he was like, nope, he did one time. But the video's gone off the internet. It's been removed, he so he Illum probably puts, you know. Illuminati or whatever. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, he's got Illuminati. Can I say something, I, please? Because I don't want it to get buried later in the episode. This is important, and I really want the audience to hear this. We met up earlier today. I told you that I'm having a real bad stomach problem, mm -hmm. and I'm not. And I'm not being dramatic. Like I was just on the couch just now. Like it's been is it coming from out. Prime? It's been coming out both sides. No, no, no. Prime's a from, that helps keep me hydrated. Is it from? It's just from food. Like food. I ate something bad, and I was sitting on my couch just now, looking at the clock. And I told you 7:30. It was 7:15, and I was saying to myself, dude, like. I got a massive week coming up. One of the biggest weeks of my life, honestly. I'm shooting a show with A&E, Burger Shops launch. I'm going out to Saudi. We have three of the biggest podcasts that we've ever done this week. It's just a crazy, crazy week. And I was like, damn, dude. I could really sit home and just rest up tonight and like catch my breath. And I'm fucked up, dude. I'm puking. I'm shitting. And there's this thing called accountability that everybody needs to learn about in their life. My grandpa's an accountant. We might have Rodney, the Logan Paul lookalike, call in a little bit that was choked out by Nate Diaz. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> we might have him calling in. Uh, we're going to see. So stay tuned. Watch the episode all the way through because everybody's trying to get to this guy right now. You know, he's probably harder to reach than the actual Logan Paul. But we'll get to that later. Mike, what were you saying about your stomach and diarrhea? Mike, if you ever have to shit your pants, you just let us know. I feel like I have to. If you have to leave, go ahead. Get up, get <laughs> out. No pressure. This is just a fun show here that we do and... <laughs> You don't have to worry about it if you have to walk it's off. It's like a shooting pain in my right side. Steve Madden walked off last week. Yeah, I heard about that. Is your appendix bursting? It might be. It's my lower right side. It's real painful. But but basically what I was getting at is this. A lot of us people, humans, struggle with accountability to ourselves. We don't make it to the gym. We don't do the things that we're supposed to do in life until we find accountability to someone else it's why people go to gym with partners it's why people getting off drugs go to groups there's a lot of power in being accountable to other people if you cannot be accountable to yourself all right discipline lies in strong relationships we weren't made we weren't built as humans to do this alone so when i was sitting on that couch thinking to myself dude i could just go to sleep right now wake up tomorrow fresh for kevin fucking hart who i have on the show tomorrow i said i'm accountable to this man this man has a show to do today. I'm gonna drag my ass off this fucking couch and I'm gonna get my ass in that seat and I'm gonna show up because that's what he needs from me. We also cycled hard too, that was, that was dope. And here I am. Yeah. I don't know why I'm looking directly at you. He, I, he throws me off. You don't wanna look me in the eyes and say that, that'd be no, weird, No, because yeah. he throws me off. But I mean it, dude. I want everybody out there in the audience, whether you're struggling with something, okay, some bro, trouble, you think, you to one. find somebody in their life that could, that could help them 
stay accountable. Be a good influence. Look at the shape you're in now my, from hanging out with me since you started hanging out with me. It's insane. My, my, I had another point too, but I have a podcast. But you know what? I, you know what I was saying. I'll, you know I'll what, be hitting a lot of this type of but stuff. Back to how you can't can look me in the eyes. Talk. Back to how you can't look me in the eyes. Yeah. Kyle sent me a meme or sent it in the group chat where it's like McGregor walking out about the fight Nate Diaz. Oh yeah. And what was the text? It was like, um, tell, your, tell your bro that you appreciate him or fight him. <laughs> yeah. And it was a him. Nate Diaz, Conor McGregor fight. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather fight my bro than tell him that I appreciate our friendship. That is me, bro. Kyle texted in the group chat. He's like, this is Jeff because he'd rather do this. And I was like, and yeah, never, that's right. Ever, yeah. They'll feel my emotion with my punches. Real mm. friends fight. If you've never gotten in a uh, fight with your friends, like, are they even You're not friends? real friends. Yeah. yeah. You're, you're keeping a fucking, it's a facade of yeah. a friendship. It's all fake. Uh, yeah. That's masculinity. It's just kind of how it is. It, it's funny if any, I bet you anybody watching this right now, any guys especially that have a group chat, there's probably two dudes in that group chat that always fight. I have a bunch of group chats and there's always like two people in that group chat that get into it and you, you sit there like eating popcorns watching it happen. But those, Who is that? A lot of times those two are the closest. Who is that? Are you beefing with? No, it's, it's not me. I'm actually not the person. It's like growing up, you could always, I knew that if I fought my friend, like we could work through whatever we we're dealing yeah. with. After yeah. the fight, it's like a hug, and then you're like, all right. Brothers. Right. You figured it out. Brothers, dude. Yeah. Like, imagine having a brother and not fight. Dude, I fought my sisters. Yeah. <laughs> you punch women? Yeah. Well, I, I'm, I'm the baby, so I would, I would fight my older brother, who was four years older than me, and that's a big difference. 16-year-old beating up on a 12-year-old, that's, that's a big difference. So I would get my ass beat by my brother, and then my sister would come in and choke him out or something. Do you ever think about the fact that we, like so many other people, have just gone through so much shit and we just talk about it like flippantly, but it's probably also just giving us so much like mental trauma that's causing us all of our anxiety, depression, and, and like stress in life? No, nah, I just forget those memories. Well, you think you did. Like you're you're compartmentalizing those bad boys and just sticking them in the back of your head. That's what's causing your your like the days where you wake up and you don't answer your phone, which happens like I would say twice a week. Maybe. No, and no, I have no, to no, text no, a group no, chat no, like, "Yo, is I try to put it in TikTok terms for the bathroom boys. Yo, is bro alive? <laughs> is bro alive? Yeah, that's yeah. what I say. That's what I say." Yeah. So Kyle responds. Well, and nobody not. else responds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, that's just like your language, bro. I was like, oh my god, man, it's this. bro alive. <laughs> no, I woke up late today because I got back from stagecoach last night, and man, that fucking dust in your lungs, and we were overheating out there. Ryan came along with me to help me shoot something for Doctor Squatch. It wasn't that hot, bro. It was. He's doing a, a he's he's doing a bit right now. We got there, and we had to get there before the festival started so we could film our stuff before it got chaotic. Like 10 a.m. And, and there's this girl walking. She had like a Michelob Ultra in her hand. This is the moment you're going to throw up. If you do throw up here <laughs> on camera, we would love that. We welcome it oh my right God, on the couch. Oh, my God. He has tears in his eyes. I think he's actually going to. I'm going to run and get a Bro, bucket. Puke, puke on the floor. Puke Can on the floor. Can you grab me a bucket? Like a... Just go on the floor. Yeah, Jeez. damn. That that almost made me throw up, too. If you got to go, bro, that'd be great. I'm, Mike, I mean, after throws that, up, we make after him After that up. speech, like if I have to go, like leave the sh After that speech, me walking a bag, off. A bag, a Chipotle bag. Bro, his stomach acid's going to burn through that. It's fine, whatever. If you got to go, go ahead. What do you mean by go? Throw up. We okay. need you for the show. We okay. just started. Okay. All right, real quick, today's episode is sponsored by Honey, the easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. Thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best ones it finds to your cart. You just go shopping online, you have Honey installed, and it basically just finds the coupons on checkout. Imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites. When you check out, the Honey button appears and all you have to do is click apply coupons. Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons it can find for that site. If Honey finds a working coupon, you'll watch the prices drop. I do tons of shopping online. I get all my sneakers. You guys know I don't mess around. I'm always hitting the, the promo code and I'm always getting discounts thanks to Honey. Honey doesn't just work on your desktop. It works on your iPhone too. Just activate it on Safari on your phone and save on the go. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid by supporting the show. Get PayPal Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash jefffm. That's joinhoney.com slash jefffm. All right, thank you, Honey, for sponsoring the show. Now let's get back on with it. So, Stagecoach, we went out there. We're about to walk in. It's early. It's hot. It's 103 degrees. This girl with her Michelob Ultra gets on. She goes, can we share the ride? And it's by person anyway, so it doesn't even matter if we, like, carpooled in those bikes, like the carts or whatever. Yeah. So she gets in there with us, 
And she's like, it's not even that hot. I thought it'd be hotter, <laughs> is what she said. Like 103 yeah. degrees. Who was it? Like a, like a TikToker? No, just by herself. Just a she was going lady. to the concert by herself, which I respect. That's that's dope. You know, if you got no friends, just go out there and do it by yourself. I, you ever go to the movie theater by yourself and just sit there and watch a movie? I have anxiety, like real bad social anxiety. Yeah. I can't go anywhere by myself. I hit you up to go for bike rides. Yeah, I've never done that either. Go to the movies by myself. That scares you probably me. have, right? Yeah, I've, yeah, I've done yeah. That. You've never done that? No. You were just using that as an example to see if you would say like, That's "Yeah, I do that." What? Go no. to the movies by yourself? Yeah. yeah. I feel like people that jerk off in the movies go by by themselves. No. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't do that. Well, I'm saying you, I, said what did. I would say is that you have a higher propensity to masturbate in the theater than someone like me does who goes with other people. <laughs> yeah, because you're not going to jerk off alone. <laughs> any, I mean, you're not going to jerk off <laughs> yeah, with people anyway. Exactly. So if I go anywhere alone, I have a higher chance of jerking That's off. That's just what I'm getting at. I'm talking about statistics. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying like you can... <laughs> Argue can you walk. imagine like people did that in the old days they they didn't have porn at home they just all go into a theater it's together like, a peep show. like, and be a, like everyone look at the fucking screen don't look at me i'm oh, jerking yeah, off before right the now. porn on the phone yeah it's like that scene in the departed when or when in, they're uh, at a taxi driver no in departed sure, when he's chasing him <laughs> he's you. chasing him yeah, yeah. i know well, right talking. before that yeah, yeah. And, and jack nicholson's like pulls out oh, oh, and he pulls yeah, out a big yeah, black yeah, pillow. Yeah. you see jack nicholson they found him he's been missing for like three years just like chilling in his house and then the paparazzi's got a picture of him looking like he's actually been asleep for two years paparazzi's been catching a lot of people lately did you see the the big drama of the week over in, in the real hollywood side sydney sweeney photographed without her wedding ring oh yeah yeah can someone pull the story so up? So you think I, she's single? Also find no, the Jack no, no, Nicholson it's picture too. Even though I don't want to bring more attention to it because it's kind of fucked up. No, the Sweeney one's deep, bro. It's mm. it's. I'm telling you, this is a real story. Evidently, like there's like an on-screen romance that turned into a real-life romance. That's how it happens. That broke up crazy. It happens, dude. She was engaged. She was about to be wed, you know, happily wed. And I guess evidently there's another guy that she's been working alongside that. I, and by the way, this could all be wrong. Yeah. No, that's no, why right. I said that's a good that's story, why. though. It's a good story. That's It makes sense. You are this, you know, celebrity actor. You have a, a rare lifestyle. You meet somebody on set. Actress. They have, they, you can relate to them, you know? That, that's They're not the Sydney. Same. Is that Sweeney? No. There he is. Look at him. <laughs> Bro. You thought Jack Nicholson was Sweeney. <laughs> Sweeney. <laughs> Look at him. Bro, the, he's the man. Potentially the biggest legend in, in Hollywood history. Maybe he's been working on, like, a crazy screenplay or something for the last three years, and he, that's how he looks. He's, he's going like to Mad Men. He's, like, 75, though, or, like, 80 years old now. That's when it's going to be the best one ever. Yeah, I guess. Would you still care at that age, though? Fuck yeah. I, I feel, feel like, like that's how I look when I go out on my balcony in the morning. Yeah. Like, if there was somebody at the bottom of that hill, you know, where you could see up to my house, and they <laughs> photograph me, that that's what I look like. Yeah. It's right. just the hair that makes him look so nuts if he just shaved his head if he had his hair cut like you you'd yeah. be the same he looks like my dad why oh, everyone yeah. suddenly cares about the stars of the yet to be released rom-con i'm not even gonna say because they actually fuck oh no what if this is all a fucking promotion of their yet to be released rom-com we fell right in the trap well the the his girlfriend like also broke up with him like she made a tiktok about it oh really yeah look at the first sentence of this since the dawn of movie making extremely attractive people called <laughs> actors like oh, like dude that's way what to they're just called. they could the first sentence could have been yo moron read the like who are they writing that for AI a fucking wrote six it. year old yeah it's written by fucking ai dude. that looks like an ai article We've been using AI a lot for stuff, and I don't even want to give away our secrets because my last intro was really good, but it was written by AI. And I know we were hating on it at first, or I was, you know, because I was listening to Elon say that, oh, this is going to kill us all in like 50 years or whatever. But I think the most successful people now are not going to be the hardest workers. They're just going to be who is the best at utilizing AI. So why are you not, are you all in financially and, and taking real financial risk investing investing in AI? Can I, I do that? I would. Yeah, Can I sure. invest in yeah, AI? Yeah. You, the the uh, saying is work smarter, not harder. Yeah, so that's what we need to do. If you're hating on AI, you're going to fall behind. I think we should go to the next one up, which is SI. SI. Super intelligence. Staten Island. Staten yeah. Island. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to Staten Island. We need to go get we the people there. there. Their ideas. And have them just, any question, just be like, I don't know, figure it out. <laughs> figure it out. <laughs> you know what I was thinking about when we were on the cycles today? It's cool. kind of Staten Island related. No matter how successful you get in life, you should always keep a, a lineage and like a, stay rooted in the simple pleasures of life. Because it's harder for them to be taken away from you. So like, if you can afford a, a, a bicycle 
and you stay in love with cycling, mm-hmm. no matter what happens, you go bankrupt, your your wife leaves, leaves, leaves you for an on-screen romance, mm-hmm. like you always have that bike to fall back on. You know what I'm saying? If you fall in love with f- private jets and trips to Nobu, like there's a chance that may sometime go away. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> This is, just sounds like your thoughts. This is These are my thoughts. My yeah. thoughts are my this out here is this is me. <laughs> Inside, bro, Fun. dark place. Yeah, not a not a place you want to be hanging. Jack Nicholson. Pull the Jack Nicholson photo back up. I don't think that's I, what I, goes I, on in my head 24-7. Yeah. I don't think I like yes. cycling that much. All right. I know I knew you're gonna Cody would do that too. I like going with you guys, but I would never grab the bike and go by myself. Listen to what I'm saying, bro. You're gonna walk already. Why would you say that? I like going as like it's a fun activity, but to put the bike in the car and you got to get the shoes, it took us and five the, minutes. The today. outfit and then the you forget the glasses and you got to go back up the stairs. You forget your helmet. You know all this stuff. There's so many things with running. Know, just take off your feet. That's all you need. And yeah, you can't it's a, take those it's off. It's a bit of an investment. It's a bit of an investment. I like walking. You don't even have to prepare at all. Yeah. Whatever you're wearing, you leave the house. We walked a lot at Stagecoach. Yeah. We walked fucked a lot. up thing, dude. Is Oh, yeah. I lost eight pounds out there. I came back and weighed myself. I was bulking up, gaining good, healthy weight. It was 178. It was 170 today. You lost eight pounds? Eight pounds, yeah. We also did a lot of stuff. Like, we we weren't eating right. We partied after the first night how were the parties there I think uh I, the, it, it was weird it was very weird i'm not gonna lie it was, was, it was not like regular music you're used to it was cool well it's cool to see coachella dressed differently it was like halloween of a music festival you know you see this place that you used to looking so different and everybody was in chairs there was like seating and families at the at at stage coachella coach? three yeah. yeah coachella three stagecoach i feel like this was the weekend of coachella that steven should have gone to because he, he could have gotten to all the parties bro. yeah you know what i'm yeah. saying like he wouldn't have had any and trouble no door no yeah. problematic door guys and he would have been like a Nine. The yeah. People, the people that this thing pulled. Oh, yeah. The oh, people really? were. were, were <laughs> they're not attractive. Bad, Missing yeah. teeth. Trump I haven't shirts. seen a black person in like three days. <laughs> oh, is it really singular co- like co- color palette? Wise? Yeah. Why? Oh, yeah. Big time. Yeah. You know, Even there was... we brought Davidge, our, our brand deal guy, and he's Indian. So he put on a bunch of sunscreen. So it was like white face that he did. <laughs> he did white Actually, face. he did he white blend face. In. He had to blend in. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. There was a lot of drama coming out of the. Um, Coachella parties evidently I guess there was some stuff with Steven that happened oh yeah should we get to that yeah I mean dude it's been affecting my my timeline bro I've been getting a lot of comments Steven said we need to give him five minutes uh heads up for the weather segment so we'll give him this five minute heads up now right now but and in um, the meantime we'll have Ryan uh give a little recap of stagecoach in the meantime if you want to circle back to AI well we'll go back to AI after because let's stick to stagecoach and get that shit out of the way then we'll dive into the deep topics after yeah you want to go ahead your thoughts Uh, my thoughts on stagecoach uh-huh. uh country music sucks <laughs> country people suck um i didn't like it yeah yeah i had a little bit of fun a girl tried to teach me how to square dance can't do that embarrass myself over i don't and know over. if that's is it square dance yeah the two-step yeah. or whatever that's not it's i thought it was line, it's not line dance two-step something i don't know it, it sucks was, it all it sucks sucked at it it sucked even if you're good at it it still sucks the songs were like hunting fishing Fucking every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, that actually sounded like a song. It that is, is what that was song. one of the songs. No, hunting, yes. fishing, fishing, fucking, fucking every, every day. day. Yeah, we might get no copyrighted, shot. but yeah, this yeah. Song, we might get a strike. Luke awesome. Bryan was singing a song that went hunting, fishing, fishing fucking, fucking every day. day. And then we did a couple of our own renditions. Yeah, and they were fun. They were like redneck renditions. That we yeah, did. yeah, because uh, <laughs> we were saying like you have like a like a, a country music singer secretly gay, like he's in the closet gay. And he's like hunting, fishing, trying not to be gay. <laughs> hunting, fishing. Oh, no, 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 I will not. I will not fuck a guy. No, no, no. No, no. no. That feels kept... like one of those you had to be there once. Yeah, yeah I don't yeah, know yeah. if that will translate. Luke well, Bryan trans- is the straightest guy. Translate. It was a trans girl that we saw that we were like, whoa, you know, she is hot. Hot. And we were like listening to the song hunting, fishing, not fucking, <laughs> no, 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 no. Cause yeah, it was. It, I don't know. I, maybe I should have gone with you guys. Yeah. This seems should've. like you need a chaperone, dude. All right, real quick. Today's episode is sponsored by Aura. Have you ever searched your name on a search engine? If not, you may be surprised by the amount of personal information available online. Your full legal name, email, home address, phone numbers, and more can be easily found online. 
This isn't just true for you, but also for your friends and family. We're thrilled to partner with Aura. Aura is an all-in-one online safety solution that helps you protect you and your family from identity theft, financial fraud, and online threats before they happen. With Aura, you can rest easy knowing that someone is looking out for you. The app scans the dark web to look for your email address, passwords, social security numbers, and other sensitive information. If anything is found, you will receive an alert in real time. If you're a victim of identity theft, their experienced white glove fraud resolution team will help you navigate credit bureaus, help you initiate credit freezes or lock, and work with you around the clock to resolve it. Aura offers a suite of tools to protect you and your loved ones, including real-time alerts on suspicious credit activity, computer virus protection, parental controls, a VPN, a password manager. It's a comprehensive online safety solution that provides almost every tool you'll ever need all in one place. Aura also helps reduce annoying robocalls, telemarketers, and junk mail by sending takedown requests on your behalf regularly. For a limited time, Aura is offering our listeners a 14-day trial plus a check of your data to see if your personal information has been leaked online, all for free when you visit Aura.com slash JeffFM. That's Aura.com slash JeffFM to sign up for a 14-day free trial and start protecting you and your loved ones. That's A-U-R-A dot com slash JeffFM. Certain terms apply. Be sure to check the site for details. Did you see my um, my girlfriend down there? Ski mask girl. Yeah, yeah. She yeah, was making yeah. out with Tana's boyfriend. Ooh. The the TikTok. Play some mysterious music yeah, or like yeah. like song crazy. The the TikTok guy that Tana's been seeing. Yeah. Your girl was wearing that red shirt with a tank top, right? Oh yeah, she. They was. were dancing together. They were yeah. dancing. You said they were making out. No, they were, were dancing. She was rolling with that crew. Yeah, the, that's her. That's her crew. That's her crew. I mean, they were holding hands, swaying. This dancing. feels like that meme where it's like, uh, what is it like, girls when they say that it's like just they're they're just friends. Yeah, <laughs> she was getting fucked by those TikTokers. <laughs> no, no, it's not. That guy has a roster. He's that's, fucking Jeff's girl. He's fucking your yeah, girl. That dude has Santa. a he had like a forty foot cock. Uh huh. Yeah, and now he's. Hitting up your ski mask girl. My What's last deal t- with her, bro? What's she gonna do now that she don't have the ski mask on anymore? I don't model? know. I, she's not my girlfriend. She, that girl's cool, bro. Yeah, she and is. I mean, I, I wholeheartedly mean that. Like cooler than most of the girls that I hang out with in LA because she just got here and she still has a whole bunch of like Michigan in it. All right, let's give yeah, let's give she a backstory. She's yeah, from I... Michigan. She was uh, an influencer that was secret. She wore a ski mask right. because her ex boyfriend was a big TikToker and he wanted to hide her identity, sort of. Yeah. From, like told her it was cool that if she covered her face, but probably. There I was... think it went, I think it worked against him because it created like almost like a Batman. Yeah. Like imagine if Bruce Wayne never wore a mask, he wouldn't have been that cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. since he was Batman and no one knew who he was. Everybody fucked with him while the chicks try to fuck him and shit. But now she broke up with the guy. She took the ski mask off and ended up with you. No, not ended up with me. That's and part's incorrect. The Joker. Dude, no, she yeah, stop. The Joker. stop. And she don't, revealed don't. her identity. So what's the deal now? What's the whole thing? Nah, you know? She's just cracking on. <laughs> she's just cracking on OF. I mean, she's got a good. If she here's the thing. Here's the thing, bro. If she had demasked and had like a shit. If she had a butterface. Yeah. You, thank you. Objectifying. It, that's yeah. the thing. I thought she was gonna have like like a, a like something wrong with her face. That, yeah. That's why she was wearing the ski mask. Like that girl, shape. like that TikTok girl that has the fake scar. Do you know who I'm talking about? Uh, and everybody's yeah, unsure if it's like fake or real. Yeah. She's not. She's real pretty and she got great eyes and everything. So, I mean. I think the ex boyfriend just was worried about her blowing up or something and then getting like a career and leaving him. Yeah. I don't like, think he probably gives a shit about anything. He's got so many damn TikTok followers, bro. And yeah, I know that, don't, he's, that don't help nothing. That don't I mean, mean nothing. Well, it depends. You know how on, they say money can't buy happiness? You think it's TikTok followers? I think that's the happiness? actual root of happiness. 100%. 100%. <laughs> 100%. Yeah, 100%. So TikTok, what it did to Steven? He bought his. Did you time that on purpose? No. Those are all bought. We've been doing this a while now. Hello? Yo. Yo. What's up, Substitute, What's up, substitute weatherman? weatherman? Turn that sh- echo off, bro. I don't know where I'm at. Okay. Where are you? That's your problem. You don't oh, know where you're at. That? So I, I, it was weird. I thought we were staying at Chad's house and I had this whole bit planned and then like costume and all that. And then we just left to some person's house. I don't know where I'm at. I mean, look, the weather segment isn't actually the weather. Oh, look, there you go. You got that smoking cigs now, not that vape. That's cool. Cooler. I like that. I watched I like that better. Bro, this is the worst. You're, you're never, that is. Yeah, this one's tough. I Can don't you get on Wi Fi or something? Ryan would never let this happen if he was doing it. I don't know where I'm at. I'm not. This is not my job. I'm not getting paid for this. Look at just, I'm just screenshot his in. mouth wide open. <laughs> well, Steven, this is definitely going to make it tougher for you to win this argument that you're about to get into with Mike. All right, Mike wins. I don't I can't. I don't know where I'm at. There's no <laughs> no, Wi-Fi. Don't surrender like yes. that, bro. It's Give not me the trophy. I'm out of SIGs. Not no, yet. I'm out of SIGs. 
I'm cold. I don't know where I'm at. There's no Wi-Fi. I want to go home. Damn you gave comments. me a bunch of shit last week about talking shit on you when you weren't in the studio, and then immediately after you told me that, you talked shit on somebody else. You did what you just said not to do, <laughs> no, and then you did it about I'm Mike. You did it about Mike. You were like, no, you're like, you're like, I was, like, talking, you're like, I was talking the truth. You were like, please, just. Our personal shit, don't go on a podcast and talk about it. You know, just talk to me about it first. And I was like, okay, from now on, we won't do that anymore. We will do that. No, and then you went like, you went off on Mike when he movie. wasn't here. And now Mike's getting trashed with hate comments all on his Instagram. It's like, why would you do that but to Steven? It's the truth. What, what, what you also about me wasn't true. That was the truth, what I said. I agree. I agree. What well, Mike did to you was wrong. What? Well, but it's not that serious for him to go on a show. It's just how it is. Just, at the end of the day, the girls go where they want to go, you know? That's, that's, know that's right. Mind. That's the right thing. I came ready for it. Blame the girls, if anything. If the girls I mean, left you for a 38-year-old uh, guy at, at a rave at 6 a.m., then that's not the right girls to be going after. Yeah, I mean, it's women's yeah, fault. Yeah. Steven being the bigger yeah, person right now. <laughs> It's always gonna I mean, be. You said it a little bit. It's always gonna be women's fault. You <laughs> the you end of the day. In this case, yes. You could have said it in a nicer way that I couldn't go, but in front and embarrassed me in front of all of my girl, the girls I brought. But yeah, maybe apologize for not being <laughs> nice. Bro, you're about it. to get smoked by Mike. Be I nice can see Mike's it. brain, like the alpha brain, going <laughs> starting to work. That <laughs> fucking no, out. I'm not. There's nothing to. There's nothing to smoke, bro. If there was something to smoke, I would have smoked it. I got to pass the smoking. Nah, this is a debate right now. No, it's not a debate, dude. Listen. Y'all just want drama. There's no. It was. Just You're the one who talk like, shit. Yeah. You're the one who talk shit on him and sent him hate. Hey, we want drama. This is what you do. This is what you do. You use. Was... You use your youth. No, I am gonna come up though, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna be baller, and I'm gonna take all of my scores when I get to that level. And I can't I, wait. And I'm gonna I respect that. He can't go with me. Yeah. It's a good goal, Steven. I respect that. You gave him the motivation to surpass you. It's the start of it was the start of his Ski Mask Girl, Steven, that's your goal. That's who you gotta get. That's it was the start of his villain right arc. Listen, Batman. You got jokers coming for you. Listen. <laughs> you got a couple jokers going for you. Here's the deal. Do you realize what you did? Do you no. actually know what you did? Uh-uh. So Steven brought back these girls from Coachella. Okay, can I ask you this question? Uber. He paid for the Uber. <laughs> can I ask you a question? So, where was he? He was in the house. Dollar, I didn't even girls. see him. Ooh. That's the problem. So, so, That's the problem. Okay, let me... T let me you no, don't no, see people Steven, unless gonna, they have over a million Steven, followers. Steven, I'm going to show you something real quick. You see this? That's what's called your pimp hand. You got to keep that pimp hand strong, For Steven. women. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, why you gotta make it like that? Dude? Why you gotta make it That's like that? That's what pimp hands are. Why, That's you don't what pimp men get pimped out. I'm talking about pimping men. Okay, sorry. All right, come on, Wait, so Steven. Steven, neat ride in the audience. Here's what I'm gonna ride. say to you. I mean this. Let them go. Let them do it. If you are going to be a sponsor who drafts six signed Revolve models at Coachella. You do not bring them back to the house, put them on a couch with no music, no drinks, and nothing to do, <laughs> Steven, okay? On the biggest night of the weekend. Because, <laughs> yes, I'm going to come back and I'm going to say just the following sentence. I'm going to a party. Not would you like to come, not I can get you in. I'm going to a party. And their eyes will, sure enough, perk up like Tony Montana after sniffing a line of okay, pure. Okay, okay, look, look. Okay? I am completely unbiased here. I'm the mediator I'm, of this I, I debate. Steven, yes, listen, I'm backing you up now. <laughs> I'm backing you up. But that's not the problem. Like 40, the problem bro. was... It doesn't matter. Okay, that's... <laughs> Damn, he might have won with that one. <laughs> what do you it's, say? It's, you, you, know what, you know what happened when I got back to the house? Ryan tried to fight me. That's what happened. Or I didn't try to fight, fight you. Sorry, it was just not even trying to fight. Uh, okay, to fight each other, the bully's actually this guy. You're the problem. <laughs> we were screaming in each other's face. Like, it was not <laughs> one fight. <laughs> <laughs> I was dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> This is, I'm, bro, yeah, this I'm, service I'm, ruined you. You could have won this. <laughs> Your poor Wi-Fi ruined this. I, look, Mike came with some good stuff right there, but you... <laughs> Every face that he makes is so sad. I know. Look at how stressed he got. Oh, no. Oh, I want him to keep going. I'm crying. Then. No, <laughs> you, like, bully them off, Mike. <laughs> My stomach feels so much better. Yeah, you were on fire. I knew, and he knew, too. He's like, yo, I don't want to debate Mike. He's good at this stuff. I used to do debate in high school. It's, like, my favorite thing, dude. I'm yeah. an evil, manipulative person. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that recently. Shut the fuck up. Stop. Please. You want to hear a funny story? 
What? Hold on. I well, let me t- t- tie that off. Like I used to tie this off. Stephen, I'm. I am sorry to him. I accept on his behalf. I don't even remember exactly how all that went down. He had what? He 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 was gonna just command no, six you, hot so models. So this is what happened. He got out. They all got in in the car. And he was about to walk in, and you go, whoa, 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 <laughs> that buddy. Part I, that part I do remember. <laughs> you think you're coming? <sighs> Not enough ring. With us? Okay, okay. And yeah. you laughed in his face. Because, okay, because let me let me defend that. You're, no, that didn't happen. He's on the bar. I, I did that part didn't happen. This is what he said. No, that part didn't happen. I did dramatically tell him he also had, like, another, like, two, like, not revolve models that he brought to the car too and by the way there's already eight people in the car it's me <laughs> somebody else six girls and he came over with like two other girls i'll just call them other girls right and he's and they and they opened the door like to like get in and i was like and two non-models yikes <laughs> oh this my is an God. impossible what, story to talk. This yeah, is an impossible you're gonna story lose to talk either about. way and i don't even want to debate for Steven. If he don't care, I don't care. You know, whatever. You guys made up in his most recent video. Yeah, he bullied... No, he bullied me. In the, yeah, he in got you back. Last... He got revenge. It was horrible. It was embarrassing. I came with a girl... He didn't care about those girls. I went to that house party with girls I actually cared about and he embarrassed me. Yeah, he, called out, he called out my age, brought up my drug addiction, brought up a bunch of uh, really hurtful things that I didn't do well, to him. Blows. Yeah, yeah. Well, and he said you weren't on the list. And he said I wasn't on the list and that was the worst of all of them. Heroin addict, old, all that shit's fine. Yeah. But not being on the list for a poppin' Project X Hollywood party, now that stinks. Well, uh, I'm glad you guys resolved it. Dude, his faces <laughs> were so dumb, bro. I know. Just... And it actually gave him motivation. At his own YouTube, yeah, he's been getting more views. And you're the been... reason because he wants to surpass you. He wants to Whatever motivates you. you. you know, I... 100%. 100%. Bro, I do you know how long good. I was the fucking little dog being kicked for? For so long, dude. By who? Bro, when do Logan? No, when I first do when I first started <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's probably at certain points. <laughs> Dude, I hate when shit like this happens. It gets taken out of context, it gets fucked up. Because I would I would assume you guys all would consider to me a, me to be a good friend and a very sweet person. Yeah. Uh, you can have yeah, your, yeah. your evil moments and your manipulative moments for sure. And then you go on here and say, look, there were six of them and the other two were not models. And then Do you, you wanna know, know what I do and someone <laughs> you do, it to yourself, do you wanna know bro. what I do sometimes? <laughs> and someone someone described it really well. I think it was Logan one time when he was bashing me. I move very fast. I'm always moving a million pieces around. And sometimes I'm moving pieces that will benefit you. Sometimes I'm moving pieces that will benefit other people. But there's a lot of times where I don't look at every single little minute piece of like who's going to be affected by everything. The pawns. I think you need to look at people all equally. I'm not saying that I don't do. I and don't. One thousand percent. You do only that. see the the blue check marks. That's not true. You only see. The, you can buy those. That down. this stuff, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sit for it. <laughs> even have jokes about. Like you can, If you're gonna say it, at least say it jokingly and laugh about it. But that's just simply not the case. <laughs> I know. I'm just. That's simply. I'm a little worn out. We had a long weekend. All right, real quick. Today's episode is sponsored by Rocket Money. Have you guys ever been subscribed to something that's just draining your bank account? Well, that's what I was doing over the past maybe year. I realized last night that I was subscribed to some fight TV application. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Over 80% of people have subscriptions they forgot about, and chances are you are one of them. Like the Stars app just to watch one show, or that free gaming trial that you never actually used and you never canceled it. Rocket Money will quickly and easily find your subscriptions for you, and for any you don't want to pay for anymore, just hit cancel, and Rocket Money will cancel it for you. It's that easy. Rocket Money also helps you manage all your finances in one place and automatically categorizes your expenses so you can easily track your budget in real time and also get alerted if anything looks off. Over 3 million people have used Rocket Money, saving the average person up to $720 per year. Stop throwing away your money, cancel unwanted subscriptions, and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash jefffm. That's rocketmoney.com slash jefffm. Rocketmoney.com slash Jeff FM. All right, thank you, Rocket Money. Now back on with the show. Can I tell you the funny story now? Yeah. We were at Stagecoach and we went home with some girls. Steven's girls? Yeah. No, no Steven <laughs> had nothing to do with this, but, um, you know, it was just cool. They wanted to ride out and we were like staying close by. So they came to our house. Oh, no. We were going to go in the hot tub, a lot of walking, you know, sitting in that hot water. We go in the hot tub and nobody wanted to go in the hot tub. It was just me and Ryan. So, <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> We were like, let's prank them, you know? No. 
<laughs> it wasn't like a thought out plan like yeah. that. It was, I started doing a bit in the hot tub that I was drowning myself. Yeah. So he's like face down floating in the Classic hot tub. Classic drowning prank. Cause he yeah. was filming, <laughs> cause he was filming it and I was like, and he was like, and I came up for air and he'd be like, go back down, do I mean, it, pussy, actually do it. And I'd be like, just right. a cry for help, you pussy, you won't do it, you won't, you won't. And then he goes back under, and then he's down there for like two minutes, and then he's like floating up. And I forgot what I was doing. I was like entertaining the girls. Like I just completely forgot that Ryan was down there doing that. And then the girl <laughs> comes over and was like, "Oh my god, oh my god, Ryan drowned! He drowned!" <laughs> and Ryan gets up and he's like, "No, no, no!" I was like, you know, I was just kidding. It was just a prank. And the girl goes, oh, my God, how could you do that to me? My friend just drowned in a pool. And we were like, yo, how are we are supposed chances? to know this? Yeah, you know? What are the chances of that? We're just in a pool messing around. Like, you can't hold us accountable for that. Like, yeah. We're just goofing around. How could you? How are we supposed to know? We never we just, we just met the girl. Yeah. It wasn't even a prank for them. I was doing it to Jeff being like, haha, I'm going to myself. And then they just happened to walk over. And we didn't even try to talk our way out of it because it's like, you, know. uh, you just you just gave up. Yeah, on we it. gave yeah. up on it. But what do you do? Do you just order an Uber for him? Like, yeah, <laughs> they weren't mad. They we talked after it was fine. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. it was a joke. I didn't mean. What to. are the chances? But at first, she was furious at us. You yeah. know, she was like, "You guys knew, and this was premeditated, and you're trying to do this horrible prank on it." Like they thought we were some sick fuck. Oh, she had like a paranoid breakdown. Just because a silly, goofy <laughs> little childish prank, like. Bro, my dad used to do that prank on me when I was like four. Yeah. You know, he would just float at the top of the pool and I'm like, dad, dad. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was so funny, you know, but <laughs> it makes it funnier kind of for us. Yeah. My mom ended up using that as the excuse why he never came back to pick me up for my baseball games. Oh, he's floating in the pool? He's still in the pool, Mike. Yeah. I haven't seen him in 30 <laughs> years. I didn't know my dad until I was 18. You didn't know your dad was here? I didn't know who he was till I was 18. Really? Yeah. yeah. My dad's great. I'm just kidding. He was he was fantastic. Oh, Well. Okay. Oh, so now, oh, so you, you just did what I did. Yeah, because I don't want him to see this and then yeah. think that I'm like bashing him and shit because it's not true. He, he taught me a lot. Yeah. My but what happened with your pops? He just, he didn't fuck with you? He just wasn't, <laughs> he just wasn't around until, I, he called me the day after my 18th birthday and was like, yo. I'm your dad. And I was like, fuck off. And then a year later, he was like, you want to move to LA? And I was like, mm, sure. <laughs> That's like super interesting. Really? Yeah. I feel like everybody in this room probably has interesting. I mean, your dad's like, a, he might as well be a character in a, in a show or a movie. Yeah. It's so funny because Apple just literally didn't fall away from the tree at all. Like in my eyes, Apple's still on the tree. You're like, the, the you're same, like exactly yeah. the same as him. Yeah, it's scary. I go to the house. He's like, Mike, Mike, come in. Come see Jeff's room. room. Like he's like, a... we could, do you want to shoot up real quick? I'm like, what the fuck? And Jeff's like, ha ha, good one, dad. It was yeah. only a joke. Yeah. yeah, he's funny. Both your parents. I love them both. Classic rock, super fans. They got, the walls are all... Beatles and uh, all the different classic rock. They were great. I meet some people's parents. I'm like, makes sense. They still you go know? to concerts. They're they awesome. Were... They are awesome. Yeah, your dad no. just told us a story over the phone about how he snuck in beer to a movie theater with your older brother, and they were drinking in the movie theater, and it was all quiet, and they'd be popping the cans and be like, <laughs> he's yeah. all, he yeah, really cracks awesome. a beer, and then they start laughing in the movie because they're like, how, who cracks a? Can and it was like in a dramatic movie. movie. Yeah. They you know, you know when you like go to people's house and they're like, yeah, come, come meet my parents, you know. And you're there, and the whole time you're just like, when I was at your house, I, dude, I would go back if you were like, yo, let's go to my, stay at my house in yeah. Staten Island for a couple of days. I would do that in a heartbeat. Yeah. I would do that in a heartbeat. Going yeah. out with Same your pops, with you. Bro. You, it's crazy how you are your mom. I mean, we all become our parents, yeah. and I guess because we're getting up there in age, we're like around that. We're becoming them now more than ever. But yeah, you're you are your mom. It's insane. Yeah, good and bad. Because yeah. she's so OCD with her house and cleaning and all yeah, that shit. Yeah, and I'm yeah. In a Nazi when it comes That's to That's you, house. bro. You don't even let people sit on your couch. It's like a piece <laughs> of art. I'm trying to get there. better. I'm trying to get better. I am becoming my dad. You guys just made me re realize that. And I don't like that. We all don't. It's just what happens. But yeah. he's probably he's probably dope. He just didn't really care about... He's insane. This, yeah. The city was like, hey, you can't paint your house. And he was like, I don't... I'm going to paint my house. There's rules of what color you can paint your house. So my dad went to Home Depot and bought as many paint buckets of different paint that he could. And then he was just throwing buckets of paint <laughs> on his roof like a <laughs> madman. And, and his roof to this day is still just all this paint running down his roof. That's funny. And the, and the, Still right. How long yeah. ago was this? <laughs> Two years ago. This The city's suing him because they're like, you can't paint your house this way. Yeah, that like, is true. Like, I've never seen a house multicolored with buckets of paint dripping down. Wait, is your dad like Carrot Top? He <laughs> sounds like, I don't know. He just, just sounds like a watermelon. Yeah, he sounds like a character. When he was 45, he started hanging out in Compton. 
and he started going to the after hours in Compton and he lives in Manhattan Beach, which is like wealthy, yeah. rich, yeah. white. And he hangs out with Hoover Crips, gang members. Yeah. And then, What's his value at to like the group? Money. Oh, he's oh, got yeah. bread. He funds the Crips. Well, he just hangs out. <laughs> I don't know what he does. Bro, that's actually they all, fire. They all <laughs> hang out at his house. He has a kayak slide that he built in his backyard that goes out of metal and wood. Into the ocean? Goes into his pool. Just his pool. And he kayaks. Is he on it. strand? Huh? It's like a one is second he on the, is ride. He on, is he on the strand? The road right on the beach? Oh, no. In Manhattan Beach, that shit will never float with the paint, multicolored paints. Yeah. They take that shit, that neighborhood real seriously. My my third week Venice, here. maybe you get away with that. Yeah, Venice, you could probably get away. Yeah, I love, by the way, I love uh, Manhattan Beach. Yeah, it's Pe- great. It gets, gets a lot of shit talk from people, but I love that neighborhood. I know well, the all- shit goes into the ocean there. That's where the, the sewage <laughs> thing comes oh, out, Oh, right? is that where, oh, yeah. really? Yeah, because no. I went, I, my first time I ever tried to surf, first and last, it was miserable. I, it was cold, it was raining that day, and I got a sinus infection, and I found out afterwards that it's because that water is filled with shit and piss, yeah. literally, because that's where the sewage plant pumps everything out right into is that accurate or not it's a it's a couple beaches up but yeah it's it's what's the one well that's the one i went to but manhattan beach is the hardest place to surf like in california what do you mean by that it has the hardest like water it's usually cold it's way cold more than huntington it was freezing yeah cold, it's like yeah. the worst it's, oh really yeah it's the hardest place but like my third week in la like, swat was like knocking on my doors i came in with guns and stuff because of the insane. affiliation with the cribs yeah it was yeah it's insane that's insane bro yeah that's wild i would have never guessed just seeing your dad he, i'm gonna be kept... honest with you dude kind of sounds awesome no he is awesome yeah. once i accepted who he was i was like i get why you left yeah <laughs> i'm like you're way no one can control you you're not gonna be a dad yeah were you planned or were you a accidental weatherman i was a planned affair <laughs> Oh wow! Oh, wow! Yeah, my you must be all fucked up in the head. Huh? <laughs> my mom yeah. was married, and she said, "I want a baby," and he was like, "I don't want a baby." And that's my legal dad. That's where I get the last name Leader. And he was like, uh, "That's a sick last name too." Are you close with your mom? Yeah, and then they divorced in two thousand five. So I had a I had a mom and a legal dad that I would go to their houses separately. He's one of us. He's one of us. I knew I fucking liked you, bro. And his I knew last, I fucking his last liked name you, is bro. actually Leader. It's, yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. crazy. That's a cool last name, dude. Leader I love cool I name. love hearing people's fucked up past, yeah. bro. It makes me so happy. Dude. Do you like your last name? It's unique. <laughs> the it's short answer, like it, no. It's but almost like it's there's unique. a typo in it. My insecurities would get fucking smoked by this, but when I would go up for bat and t-ball, now batting for the Cardinals, <laughs> Mike number Jagger. thirteen. Bro, they would add like forty letters. Yeah, Mike Majagalov hog. Mike, like, a, <laughs> like, dude, it's not even close. Mike's a good name. I always wished like my name was Mike or Jason or something cool. You it's, know what Michael means? Uh, no. Uh, Saint. Close. This Knight. Is, this is very is it, king. This is very anti of some people's thoughts, but it means he who is like Christ. Oh, he who is like <laughs> yeah yeah. I mean, you hang out with like prostitutes and stuff like that or whatever. I am a sinner. Christ did that. A uh, sinner who prays for forgiveness to Jesus. Yes, I do sin, and I am working on it. Jesus hung out with, like, the scum of the earth. Well, Mary Magdalene... Did Jesus a, roll with a pack of scumbags? Like, he, prostitutes. He, he hung out. There was definitely yeah. some characters in the Bible, for sure. Sounds familiar. I think it's important. I think right? it's important for people to know that they're all God's children. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of their... You know their mistakes and their indiscretions. Like no, we're all, we're all. I really am the YouTube Jesus. What was it now? <laughs> the same impulsive. Bro, why does everything got to go back to Logan Paul with you? Don't you have somebody to Facetime right now? Oh, well, can we Facetime uh... Logan? No, I don't you guys mean really... that because I, you know, he wants the Oscar. Do I can tell right now he wants to Facetime someone, bro? Should we? Did no. <laughs> Are you fucking missing what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, but I, but now that you're now that I'm thinking about it, we should call somebody in right now. Do you want to? Do, would you care to do Tav? Tav is like a bad influence on you. I love him. He's a, he's fun to hang out with, but he's a bad influence. We're bad influences on each other, to be honest. I agree. We're yeah. like we're like uh, two, you know, scientific compounds call up, call that up, shouldn't call come up. together. Call Tav. What about the guy who got beat up? Uh, Rodney. We'll we'll call him in later. I don't even know if he's gonna make it with Mike. We might have to wait. Till after Mike leaves. What's going on uh, topics wise, guys? You got anything back there? Um, Logan Paul was talking about Joe Rogan about UFO conspiracy. He has. Oh yeah, I saw that. I didn't see it, but I I had heard about it. Logan Paul was talked about on so, Joe Rogan. Yeah, look, Joe Rogan had this guest. I forgot his name, but I was fascinated about about it last night. It was a TikTok. Um, yeah, it was. <laughs> they uh, he was talking about how. Logan was in Brazil and had like a secret button cam to 
it's look at this never before seen footage that the government wants to see and now logan's being offered like hundreds of thousands of dollars to buy the footage and he's saying no to all these offers because he wants to release it i don't know it's all this sorry like, does logan have some, some footage? yeah yeah he have bought. you seen it oh uh, yeah Whoa, really? Logan yeah. has alien footage. Yeah, or something like that. He he bought he bought What the hell? We had the guy on our show. We had the the, the main guy on our show. Yeah. Uh, was it was a Greer. Is, it, uh, is that his name? Oh, I forgot. I mean, this is this is 380 episodes ago. I can't even I can barely remember his fucking Logan name. has alien footage and you don't even care or remember it. Let me, he saw it. I call him real quick. He's stuck at the airport and he's in a bad mood, bro. He is in a real bad mood. So what's the deal? Is he going to sell this footage? Let's find out. Hold on. What was it? He just buying up Pokemon cards? Oh, yeah, I'll take that alien video. Hey, what's up? You're on uh, Jeff FM, just audio, obviously. Hey, do, what, what's the deal with this alien footage? You got alien footage or something? I'm not doing this right now, Mike. Bye, bye. <laughs> yeah, he's not He's happy. in a bad mood. Damn. He got stuck at the airport. There's a, there's a, he's been there for 12 hours. Sounds like you don't want to talk about the alien footage. It might be that, too. Tov's in. Or the um, government suppressing him. Oh, now we got Tov Bring Tov in. This is Mini Mike. He's he's kind of got a raspy voice too. What's going on, <laughs> Mike? What are we doing in Just a little more. Oh, there he is. The What's up, Mini Mike? You're on Jeff FM. Welcome to the show, Tob. It's nice to finally have you on. Hey, dude, you What's good, baby? Oh no, my God! Too you just loud. already Too everything loud. you just did just supported <laughs> Jeff's earlier point. Yeah. Uh, just... So we are both a big part of Mike's life. You know, Logan is more of a, uh, like a showbiz friend for him now. Like, he just called him and hung up on it. Logan don't even want nothing to do with Mike. Like yeah, he don't desk. even like Logan don't even like Mike no more. But where is actual real friends? Why is, why is your desk so small, Jeff? <laughs> I'm, just a big, I'm just a big guy, you know? It's this hard to find a desk that's going to fit me. I'm 6'5". Uh, back to what I was saying, though. We're, we're both uh, polar opposites, you and I. I yeah. run every day. You like to... Sleep I lift in, every smoke, day though. Smoke weed. Um, party yeah, a lot. Every day. In the gym. He does. He goes to the gym every day. He has trainers. I'm not kidding. He actually technically has trainers. And you don't. He has trainers. Actual trainers. Yes. <laughs> multiple trainers. You have multiple well, personal seen... trainers. Ronnie, and you look like you're wearing the same thing all these bikers wear. You're just wearing speed glasses and you're running in place in the same place. Remember, I saw you and you were just you didn't stop running for one second. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, you really Tom. Fuck you, Tom. You know what? You know what? You know what? I call, you know, I'm just going to come right and say it. You're a bad influence on Mike. You're a bad influence. When he hangs out with you, it's from what time? 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. He's a bad influence on me. This fool wants to go out every night. He's a mm -hmm. really bad influence. I read his book, man. I was trying to make my life good. And no, I didn't read his fucking book. But <laughs> I was trying to be a better person, you know? No, Tom, I'm just messing around. I like hanging out with you. You're a real fun, funny guy. He's supposed to come to Israel. He doesn't ruin the whole trip. He could actually be like a recurring. He should come on, like properly come on. Why don't you two do a podcast together? Have him be your co-host. Bro, he is. Tom, Tom will. Angry, you want to. You want to. be a great co-host. You want to talk about somebody I'd that can... I'd be bad at fucking Steven, your cause. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, Steven's great. Actually, Steven's great. Steven's the best. You've been hooking up with a lot of girls lately? Duh. I'm trying. Sick. <laughs> this guy's sick. This guy's <laughs> sick as fuck. Let me, let me preface this really quick. Quickly. Tav was one of the first people I met in this city. And I'm talking 2016, pre-anything. Yeah. And he'd never had to do anything for me. And he put me under his little wing. Uh -huh. And he brought me into every fucking room. He introduced me to every person. His he's brother. Cool. He's his funny, brother, he's connected. No, listen his to brother me. Is, his it, brother's sitting next to him right now. They have one of the tightest yeah, families. That's not his brother. Yeah, it is. He has one. Of the, he has one of the tightest Bro, families. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Jeff. You sound. Oh, like it him. is. It is. Okay. That's tall. Yo, what's going on, bro? Good to see you again. Yep. Fourth, of, too, Fourth of July. We'll meet up again this year. It'll be our one-year anniversary. Yes, sir. Once yeah. a year. That's what we gotta do. Anyways, Mike, keep talking good about my family. Yeah, keep going. That's where I'll just cut. I'll just cut it really quick. That, that's a tight-knit family, and they brought me in as a as a, a, a at the time a little brother. And I got nothing but love for the Cooperman clan, dude. They're great people. Mm -hmm. Great people. Yeah. You're a big, you're Jeff, a, you're you're a big a, little Jeff, bro. You're in our wing, too, but you just keep running away. That's what you just keep doing. <laughs> running in the city. Running away, bro. I'm trying to get running, you. Run in, run in, run in, run in. The one thing that's healthy and positive for me in my life, they're telling me I do too much of it. I need to stop <laughs> it. And I need to go party with them more. That, 
I don't want you to party at all. I would love actually for you to sit in the corner and just talk shit. That's my honest. No, you honest know what? I've, I've, I've had a better. I've had a better balance now. I've been uh, taking more of these trips with Mike and doing less running. I've been toning it back on the run and more weightlifting. Well, why don't like we that. take trips and then we can run like on before, the trips? Yeah, before I drink a day or two, and then when we we can run the first day though. Jeff, I'm gonna tell you right now, Tom's never running in his life. No, I run. <laughs> Uh, too. You would uh, this little runs in his sleep. That's as far as I was going to you. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you in Israel. Love I you, can't wait. Bye. Bye. Love you, boys. Cooperman clan, baby. <laughs> Power players in the space. Yeah. See, and let me say this real quick. If Steven was smart, he'd link up with a t with someone like that, with a Tav or he a did. Tal. He did. He went Who? down a dark path. <laughs> no, he but he, they, dude, that kid is, both those kids are responsible for incredible fucking things. They do a ton of, they're not, they're not bad. They Look at that. The leg goes up. You know what that means? Getting towards that part of the show where what? we start winding down and we start not giving a fuck. This okay. when the fun stuff happens. Uh, well, where do you want to get into? You want to get into We're warmed up and we are ready now. You want to hit the AI stuff? We could dive into that, yeah. Uh, so, what's this? Mike, it's impressive how you've managed to build a career just by being friends with famous people. <laughs> what? This is no, AI. AI. Yeah. no way. They what was the prompt? What yeah. was the prompt? Bro, I don't have to no, do any thinking prompt, anymore. I'm just no, going to read. No, his prompt is garbage, bro. I love how you've turned your history of addiction into a selling point for your brand. No way. Did you put in, say, disrespectful things about Mike? No, just, just backhanded compliments. Oh, backhanded compliments. Okay, that makes sense. Wait, do some for Jeff. Bro, this is dope. Wait, read the last one. Your social media presence is really unique. It's like you figured out how to ride the coattails of others' fame. How does it know this, bro? It's so good. Yeah, it's this so one's good. for this one's for both of you, Mike and Jeff. You, you guys, guys are such great friends. It's like you bonded over being the sidekicks to more famous. <laughs> <laughs> no way, this is a great roast. This is like this is like roast quality shit. This is like Comedy Central roast quality shit. I love how both of you have managed to create your own brands despite being overshadowed by your more famous friends. Damn, these are great. Uh, don't even show the rest. I want to use these. Wait, whoa! Is... You guys should collaborate more often. It's like the blind leading the blind oh! in the world of social oh media. Oh my fame. god! <laughs> Mike and Jeff, your friendship is so genuine. I bet you two would never use each other for clout, right? Right. That one sounds a little lame, but they can't all be ten out of tens. Nice. I, it's great to see you both supporting each other, despite your busy schedules of riding others' coattails. It's see, we could just change that to dick riding or something. How like much that. info did you give this thing, bro? I just put your names in. The internet no, finds that's not it. true. Bro, He's the internet liar. finds it. He's lying. This shit is crazy. That's it. The people that will be successful in the future will not be the smartest or the hardest. What? Yeah, but what's the best the... at utilizing AI? All right, do something about do some backhanded compliments about Jeff FM. Okay, I don't think there's a lot of written like information about the show. That'll make it even funnier because they're going to have to dig or, deep. Or yeah. Tana. No, I'll do Jeff FM. She's not That's here. funny. It's perfect. Steven would love that. Yeah, we'll do Tana next. Jeff FM is such a unique listening experience. It's like nothing I've ever heard before and I'm not sure if that's a good thing. <laughs> Your podcast is perfect for people who want to listen to something without worrying about missing any important information. <laughs> Jeff FM is such an innovative podcast. Who would have thought someone could create a show with so little structure? <laughs> That's not true. We actually have more structure than any podcast. Your podcast is great for when I want something to listen to in the background. And I, oh. and I don't want to really pay attention. All right. That's it. I can't take this anymore. I think no we, way. I, I, think we could, I think we could wrap on, on that. No way. What? Uh -oh, Wait. Something happened. What? Hold What's on. going on? You guys are not. <laughs> well, no, it's I'm going to right now. Show your faces. They're doing something like real stingy, dude. Take this off the screen. No, I'm putting, no, I'm no, putting, no. I'm putting a prompt up. Yeah, prompt right, up. dude. I can see them right now, dude. What shit. the fuck is Kyle giggling, Look, giggling about? It's We did for Ryan the leader. <laughs> Ryan, you're so good at staying in the background while your friends take center stage. <laughs> what? It's great how you don't let your lack of fame get in the way of enjoying your friend's success. <laughs> what? That was the best one. You have such a Number unique Number two is the best, dude. Ryan, you're really good at supporting your friends and letting them shine while you stay in the shadows. <laughs> Wow. Despite being associated with famous friends, it's like you're the ultimate side, side character. character. <laughs> it's amazing how well you blend in with the crowd, even when you're surrounded by celebrities. <laughs> this is insane. They know who I am. Hey, ChatGPT knows who I am. I don't give a fuck. Or That's a win a kid for you me. just talk shit on one of the just do these. Yeah. They can hear it. Was, no, it was backhanded compliments were the prompt. Yeah. But how do they know that you are, like, it's listening through our phones? I have, like, you know, I got. Other, other friends that you're. In the background. What do you have? Idea? You have an ID and B? Huh? You have an ID and B? I actually do have an ID and B. I was like, that don't sound right. I have an IMDb. 
<laughs> I actually do have an IMDb. IDMB? What? Would you do that? I have like three credits. So do it yourself, Department of Motor Vehicles. That's the thing. We don't even use our brains anymore. We just use we use AI for everything. We don't need to remember the organization of those letters. It's gonna be sick when we have three computers and we can just type up our responses for each other. You know what I mean? I have, I have both legs up. I could get into some major. <laughs> major Let's wrap up right. before Mike got both his legs up. We're not trying to get the show canceled. So. Um, yeah, that's it for this week. Thank you for tuning in to Jeff FM. We will do better. We will do better next Thanks, week. AI. Every week we're getting better. Using the help of AI technology. We will be the best podcast in the world soon. Jeff FM. Jeff.